Agreed? Everybody can at least agree on that. So we have the cosine inverse of 4 over 7. Now, I want to dissect this a little bit more. Remember at the beginning, remember the first problem I did? I kind of like taught a little bit more on doing this. I said, remember guys, we can write this as a statement. Remember, cosine inverse is going to give us an angle, right? So we can also write this as cosine inverse of 4 over 7 is going to give us some angle. Now, I don't know what this angle is, so let's call it theta, right? And then if I have the statement like this, that means I could also write this as cosine of theta equals 4 over 7. Now, by understanding that that is the same statement, right, just written in a different form, right, written as cosine instead of cosine inverse, I know I recognize 4 over 7 was not a coordinate point on the unit circle, right? So my life is not easier by since I know the unit circle. But do I have enough information to draw a right triangle? Yes. I don't have any restrictions, so this is just a right triangle in space. I could draw any right triangle I want to. I usually always draw mine like this. Well, now I have 4 over 7. So here's my triangle. So here's theta. So in reality, cosine inverse of 4 over 7, we said that's equal to theta, right? We don't know what the answer is. We just know it's equal to theta. So now, tangent of theta. So basically, we're saying, now, what's the tangent of theta? Well, theta is part of this triangle. Can we figure out the tangent of this triangle? Sure, we just got to figure out you know, what is that missing side. So we say, all right, well, 7 squared equals 4 squared plus a squared. 49 equals 16 plus a squared. Subtract 16, subtract 16. 33 equals a squared. Should we do plus or minus, or should we just use the positive version? We just need to use the positive version, guys, because again, this is just a triangle in space. right? There is no x, y axis. like There are no quadrants or any restrictions like that. So therefore, we're just going to use um, square root of 33 or 4. There we go. Done. So that actually wasn't that bad, was it? <laughs>